So if you guys can believe it, a week from tomorrow, we will be on the bus for an obscene amount of time to walk for hours and then get back on the bus and, and do it in, and do it in reverse. So I'm super thankful that you um, felt in your heart that this is something that you were willing to um, take on. It's an experience like no other, really. Um, I'm speaking with great confidence for something I have not experienced myself, um, but I did my homework and I um, did a lot of prayer and really feel like this is really where I need to be. Um, Father, would you open us in a prayer, please? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be witnesses to your love, witnesses to the dignity of human life created in your image and likeness. Help us to prepare well with prayer, to be missionaries in this world, to be lights shining in the darkness. And we entrust this all to you, who are our Father, as we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Uh, for those of you who do not know Father Isaiah, um, he has graciously agreed um, to be our chaplain and to be with us for the entire period. So he will be um, with us at our sending mass um, on Tuesday, as well as like the entire trip and then the mass when we get home. So we're really excited about that. So thank you, Father, for that. Um, we wanted to... Um, um, we wanted to make sure to come together and I apologize for the short notice on, on the meeting. I, I thank you for making the time to make it happen, but there was some sort of time warp that happened um, over the holidays, I think. And all of a sudden it was like, Oh wait, that can't have, that has to happen this week. So I do apologize. Um, and just think of how much better I'll be next year. Like that's, you know, you got to set, set the bar low. And then the next year you're going to be just like, Hey, look at how organized she is. So Thank you for making the time at a short notice. Um, but I thought it was really important that we come together so that we are, we're clear on expectations. Um, we'll answer any questions that you have, let you know as much as we know about what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I apologize. I've been fighting a cold and I've spoken more today than I have in the last week altogether. So I will do my very best. Um, my husband has been, uh, my husband here, Robert, he'll be traveling with us. Um, he's been enjoying a quiet house. Although he'll probably say it wasn't quite quiet enough, but he's been enjoying a quiet house. Um, and so um, just to start off, um, some of this is going to sound luxury and I don't mean it to be. Um, but I, uh, for those of you who don't know me well yet, I'm just a straight shooter. And I just want you to know kind of what we're thinking. And so if you if this brings a question to you or brings a concern to you, please fire back. We want to make sure that we're having this uh, two-way conversation. Um, so. Um, we'll go through the itinerary um, loosely in just a minute, but just general expectations. Um, um, I just met with some of the leadership just prior to this meeting, and what we were talking about is the importance of being all in all of the time. Um, and this goes for um, high school students and adults alike. All of us really need to just kind of just keep our focus on the reason that we're there, right? Um, you know that this isn't going to necessarily be easy. It's going to be something super awesome. Um, it could be life changing, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be super easy. And so, you know, the bus ride might start to feel a little long at times, or, you know, um, when we're walking on Thursday and Friday, we might start to wonder if we can walk anymore. Like they just like there, it might just, you know, it might just kind of push you mentally and physically and spiritually. And that's beautiful. Um, the, the great thing about coming together as a group together like this, um, we're all going to become our one big happy family. Um, and just like everyone who has a happy family knows, not everyone is happy all of the time, right? But it makes it, it makes it a happy family when we continue to lift each other up. So if you're starting to feel if you're starting to feel really down or tired um, or you're sore or whatever, you know, kind of dig deep. But if you notice that your friend or um, your chaperone or somebody else is feeling that way, you can lift them up, right? And just really try to just 
ooze positivity and happiness and realize like that's where we're at because um, when we do that, um, for any of you who have been on a mission trip, I think that this week will be similar to that where we will have day, we will have moments where we start to like kind of slide down a little bit and we need to really be intentional about bringing ourselves right back up and keeping the focus where it needs to be. Um, and on our mission trips um, that I've had the blessing to be part of, we talk about joyful service. And this is one of those days. Uh, this is one of those weeks, actually, right? So this is just going to be a joyful pilgrim. We're all going to be joyful pilgrims all week. Um, so um, just kind of keep that in mind. I don't say that to scare anyone, but just so that we all have realistic expectations. Now, I sent out this, uh, we sent out this email with a, um, with the itinerary. Um, and so I'm guessing that you guys have seen this. You may or may not have. We will have we will have things for you in hand um, next week, but I just wanted to kind of go over a few things. Um, I noticed that when our in my previous meeting that I didn't have the address for the church in Doby, so we will be sending that out to you tomorrow. Um, so you, you will have that. Um, I'm just making a finishing my note that I started. Um, and so on Tuesday, if you can believe it, one week from tomorrow, um, we will arrive in um, at Our Lady of Lords um, Church in Doby um which um between 3 30 and 4 o'clock um and so that is obviously a window time but everybody should be there prior to four o'clock because at four o'clock we're asking the bus to pick us up and load up so that we can load up so that doesn't mean oh well we don't have to get there till four because we're loading at four please get there before four so that we can load at four um father isaiah has blessed us with ascending mass um so at 4 30 we will have ascending mass um for anyone who is dropping off children um high schoolers um or if you have friends and family in the area everyone is welcome at this mass so please invite them to come i know that several of you might be carpooling and that's absolutely awesome too um we'll be able to leave our cars in the parking lot there uh, right across the street from the church so that and that won't bother anybody for the week while we're gone we're asking you to pack um your dinner for the bus um the, these are the times when you're going to have to be super smart um you know, Tuesday is going to be like kind of our easier day. Um, but don't just pack just a bunch of junk food, right? We really need to take good care of ourselves, much like if you were going on a mission trip. You need to make sure that you're eating well, you're getting your protein, you're getting um, some good stuff into you. Um, plus, you also don't want to have an upset stomach when we're, you know, in this type of environment. There, there may be stops along the way. Um, when we stop, we want to make sure to um, fill up our water bottles that everyone will have with them. Um, and but also be very um, be very intentional about where you're filling up your water bottles, in you know good clean environments, um, at a soda fountain, um, at a bubbler or a water bottle bottle filling station, not necessarily in the bathroom at a truck stop. You know, like just to kind of take care of it, so we don't have any extra germs in our bodies that we don't need because we will be tasked um, this week. We will then travel through the night excuse me we will have breakfast and lunch um on the road and dinner before we get to the hotel um and these are the these are three of the meals that'll be on you so to speak um the hope is that we'll be stopping at um one of the turnpikes that have more than one um fast food restaurant or something in it so we'll do the best we can to make sure it's something that everyone can eat um, our times are loose. You'll notice that there's not a lot of times on this schedule and it's because there's just a lot of moving parts. So we can't be a hundred percent exact. When we get into the hotel, we will go to a banquet room where we have, um, um, that we have reserved for our group and it'll be hours for the week. Um, we will unload our, our, our bus. Um, we will ask for your help with that. And we will make, take all of our stuff to that, um, to that banquet room. And that's where we will make sure that you guys have um, your keys, your your room assignments, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then you'll go up to your rooms and, and get settled in and then come on um, back down. We will have mass um, and we'll have adoration to follow. And then we'll jump right in with our evening session. Every night we will have um, talks and small group discussions, highs and lows, night prayers, um, all those kinds of things. Um, 
is going to be important um, that when we get to, especially uh, on Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be important that lights out is really a time that you got really do kill the lights and go to sleep, not to just kind of stay on your phones and check in with what's going on at home, because these next two days are going to be really um, challenging for us. We're going to start the day early um, at seven, ex excuse me, at 630 with breakfast um, and then morning prayer. And then we will head out and we will celebrate mass at the National Shrine. Um, and then we will have some time to visit um, the St. John Paul II National Shrine. We will have lunch on the grounds there. They do have a cafeteria. Um, and we've been informed that they will have a minimum of two food trucks um, that day. So we will have those options for food. Um, that's another time that you will need um, money is for lunch that day. Excuse me. That afternoon we will have a, um, we'll be at the Holocaust Museum. Um, we'll have some time there. And then we will um, have some free time on the mall. We will have um, dinner catered in that evening. Um, and then we will have time for a prayer time, um, making posters for the march, um, and, you know, any kind of cheers and that kind of stuff. Right into our evening talk, small group discussions, night prayer, much like you'd expect from one of our events. Friday, we do very similar, except we we'll start with mass um, at the hotel. Um, we will have prayer and confession and mass at the hotel, and then we'll have breakfast. And then we'll be at the mall today for the day. <clears throat> we will, there's going to be talks at the mall that we'll go to. There'll be a concert, there'll be a rally, and then we will um, walk the march. Following that, we will visit legislatures if they're in office. And then we will go back to the um, hotel for the for a similar thing. We will have some movie, we will have a movie to play on Friday night, but we will also have an evening session um, with with talks and that kind of stuff. Friday night, when you go to your room, we're going to ask you to pack up and be all ready to go. Um, so that is minimal pack up for a Saturday morning uh, because the bus will be available for um, lo loading at six, six o'clock. Um, and then we will have prayer time for prayer and confession and mass and breakfast. And then we're going to go to the Students for Life conference uh, that day. And then we're going to do the, the return on... Um, on Saturday is going to be, it's going to mimic what we do on the way there. We leave a little bit earlier, but um, we'll be on the, we'll depart on DC and then we'll head back. We'll have a few stops. We'll, you know, we'll stop for dinner on the road um, and then we'll drive through the night. Lunch on Friday is being provided. We'll have a sack lunch for you, um, either a turkey or a ham sandwich. Um, before I go on, any questions about what we're, jumping into all right so um a couple of things so you'll notice that when um i wanted to go over our um our packing list as well um i counted up the meals that um we'll need um money for um, and I think there's seven meals that you guys will be responsible for on your own. Um, and um, it, we're obviously always trying to keep it uh, affordable. Um, there may be some opportunity for um, to, to purchase something at the conference. I've not actually been to a, um, a rally. Um, Kathy, have you been, did you go with the kids last time? Um, yeah, at the rally, the last time they, are you asking about meals there or? No, if there's just junk to buy. Um, yeah, In there's there. vendors. I mean, there's a lot of freebies, <laughs> you know, like a lot of groups will give away, you know, their keychains and, you know, stickers yeah. and stuff. And then some that are selling like t-shirts and sweatshirts and I mean, oh. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, aside from our, our schedule is pretty, is pretty set. So on your packing list, you notes that there's no time for, for like shopping for souvenirs and stuff. We're going from one thing to the next, but we will be part of that. So that might be an opportunity. Um, please don't bring excessive money. Um, one of my favorite things on this, oh, I didn't share it. I'm looking at it and I didn't share it. Sorry.
my favorite thing on our list is anything you don't want to lose, break, or have stolen. I don't think any of us want to have anything we have stolen, but um, do be do be cautious what you bring. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when you're when you're packing, um, it is winter, but you're gonna have to dress in layers because we really don't know what it's gonna look like. I mean, we can all look at the weather on Monday, and and hope that we get a good idea of what it's going to be like. Um, but um, do do plan do plan to have layers so that you can adjust as necessary. Um, because when we leave the hotel in the morning, we are not we don't go back until the evening, and so you'll need to kind of just be ready for the day. Um, that being said, it is going to be super important that you're in shoes that you can walk in. Um, so they may or may not be the cutest shoes you own, but they should be the most comfortable shoes you own. Because when um, when we're talking about walking, we will be walking for miles. I mean, and that's not an exaggeration. Um, when you're out, um, when we're outside anywhere, um, we have um, diocese hats. Uh, we will all be wearing matching hats, even if you're not a hat person. We will all be wearing, we will all be wearing hats, um, and so plan that accordingly. Um, but do remember to have gloves, um, other things like that that you might um, that you might need given the season. Um, it's also important to um, plan to dress um, dress modestly. This time of year, it's super easy to think oh, I'm just going to put on a hoodie and a pair of leggings for us ladies. Um, but please make sure your bottom is covered. Um, you know, that, that's just going to be really important. Um, we, we hold ourselves to a high standard here in the diocese of superior, at anything that we do, whether it be in our, um, in our dress and our attitude, um, in the way that we interact with other people. Um, and we're going to, we really want to make sure that we're all on the same page for that. The dress code also is, um, is going to be in, important when we're in our, our, um, banquet room. The banquet room is the only purple room. So um, the the, um, the rooms are um, the rooms are assigned um, guys and gals um, and is separate and so there's no so we have pink rooms and we have blue rooms um, and pink pink uh, the banquet room is the purple room and so even if we come back from the, the march and we're like all right everybody's gonna run up and get changed into different clothes or we got stuck in rain or whatever and you come downstairs please make sure that it's still all modest dress at that time, even if you're just hanging out for the evening. Um, make sure to bring any personal toiletries you need, um, homework if necessary. Um, you'll have time on the bus and that kind of stuff, um, but you don't want to get behind. Um, bring a Bible, journal if you do that kind of thing, pens, rosary, snacks for the bus ride. Again, be smart about stuff that'll pack, pack nicely for you. And the, uh, the bag dinner for the first night. Um, it's super, super, super important that you bring a reusable water bottle. Please, please, please don't forget. And a small backpack, like the size of a drawstring. Um, this says for the day of the march, I would say to just bring it with you. Um, it's always good in these types of environments to have a day pack with you. It can carry your water bottle or anything. You, if you need to take off gloves or something like that, you can throw it in there. Um Students are, um, students will have four students in each room. Um, I think there might be one or, there, there might be one or two rooms that only have three. Um, but again, they're just girls and just boys, um, but there will be four in each. And so if you're not comfortable sharing a bed with someone, um, feel free to bring a sleeping bag or uh, and a cot if you want, but like just a tiny cot because we're going to be limited on space. Um, but you're welcome to do that if you would prefer to not share a bed with um, someone else. Adults also have just women room and just men rooms, um, but there's just two in each of those. So that's not an issue with the adult rooms. Um, everyone is um, welcome and encouraged to bring their cell phones. Um, I say encouraged because I think it's important to be able to reach someone, but we do wanna remember that we are all in all of the time. And so if we're taking a picture, we're taking a picture quickly, we're not like, missing the moment because we're trying to get the perfect shot right we're not like we're not like bored on the mall so we're just going to pull out our phone and check out what's going back you know going on back at home right that those, those are not the things that we're doing we want to be in all in all of the time and if we have our phones out it is um to benefit what we're doing there um or if you need to reach one of the leaders um you can leave your electronic games and all that kind of stuff at home 
Um, we'll have movies for the bus. Um, and then the way the bus is working, you can bring your, your um, backpack, your pillow, um, and a blanket on the bus. Everything else is going to go underneath, but you won't have access to the underneath until you get to DC. Anyone have any question on that? Is that backpack different than the day pack that you're talking about? It should be the same. Um, I'm not sure if you guys could hear Robert asked if, um, oh, for those of you who don't know, this is Robert. He's my husband, um, my better half, my rock. Um, the, should the backpack for the bus be different? Um, it would not necessarily have to be. Um, it might be easier if it is just your day pack. But if you're bringing your backpack with your homework in it, you're going to need a different backpack than just your day pack. So if that's the case, you can bring that on the bus and your, and your day pack. Um, okay. When you're, when you're counting how many things to bring, like how many shirts and all that kind of stuff, um, you're going to probably want to bring something extra just in case you're not going to be able to change during the day. Um, but if we do get caught in rain or something like that, and you get soaked to the bone, I mean, you'll wear your jacket and all of that, of course, but just in case, um, but we will be providing um, long sleeve t-shirts for Friday and long sleeve t-shirts for Saturday. So we will all be a matchy matchy for the March as well as for the students for life conference. Um, so you will get that. Um, um, you'll get that probably on Wednesday when we land. Um, let's see here. Okay. Um, parents, um, it is going to be super, 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 super important. Um, did I say super enough? Like really, really, really important that you have, um, all of your med forms filled out appropriately. I know that you fill it out in the, in the reg pack. Um, but there is that piece that you need to print and sign yourself. You can't just digitally sign it. Um, and all medications must travel in, um, the actual container. That doesn't mean if you have a 30 day supply of something that you have to bring 30 tablets, please just feel free to count them out of whatever your student is going to need. Or if it's an as needed type medication, you know, send as much as you think that they could possibly need. And then, you know, they'll bring it back. Um, what we see at camp often is that like things get dropped off and, you know, kids get dropped off and they have their bag, especially at the high school level where they're carpooling and driving themselves and those kinds of things. Um, but we really want to really want to make sure that they are um, that that we have all of that on um, on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, between three thirty and four, when you are, arrive, whether you're traveling um, with your student or or whether you're just dropping them off or whatever, you're going to give the medication and the form to your um, parish leader. And um, you're not going to um, not going to leave until like they check everything to make sure it's right while you have it while they have you in hand. Um, I was trying to think of the things that we kind of sometimes like kind of have the blessing. So so many of our camps are, and uh, so many of our people are kind of close to the camps that they attend. So and it's like if something is off, we can like oh we can just run it over or whatever. And so we don't have that. So let's be really really specific about that. Um, and then you should also know that we will be um, asking the um, young people to give their cell phone numbers to the adults that are traveling. And then it, the adults will be giving their cell phone numbers to your young people for that week. We will be asking the adults to delete the numbers out of their phones um, after that. And then of course, in inviting the young people to delete the old people's numbers out of their phones as well. But we need to be able to have that, um, that communication. Um, and not have to say, okay, who has, you know, CJ's number, let's find it, right? Like, so we want to have that. I want to make sure that that's all on the table at that point. For leadership that is still on, um, one thing that I did not mention, um, and um, um, Kathy, even though you're not technically leadership, you might be able to help with your connections to Nativity there. Um on Thursday, when we're going to be making posters and things, we're hoping that each community is bringing um, a poster board and markers so that we can make those things. Um, so if we could, you guys can 
bring stuff that would be fantastic. Um, bear with me. I just want to make sure we're not. We always do one of these things and then we get off the phone and then we say, or off the call and then we say, oh, I forgot. So um, we've had it, we've had like a couple of quite, we've had like a couple of questions about kind of how this all, how this all rolls. And so, like I said, when we, uh, what, what, as soon as we get to Adobe, as soon as we get to Adobe, we become one big happy family. Um, and we're going to really work hard to keep ourselves like up and positive and lifting those around. Um, it's also going to be important um, chaperones um, speaking specifically um, that we remember even if you're traveling with your own child um, we're, we're we're using you um, in a very intentional way like all like we're one big family so now all of these kids become all of ours right and so um, we're all here for all of the all of the kids and so when we break into group or something we we might have um, you know we might have four four groups when we get on the mall just for ease of um, meandering around. And so you might be with kids that are not just your own or something like that. And so we really do, um, part of part of this is really just trusting that you will love and care for all of the young people as your own. Um, in the event somebody gets sick or something like that, you know, the question is what happens? Well, if, if somebody gets sick or something like that, um, when we're down in DC, like one of the chaperones will take that young person back um, and get an Uber and get back to the, you know, the hotel, um, and care for them in that way or, or whatever we need to be. Um, so you've got parish leadership that'll be there, but we also have us, we have a strong adult representation. Um, so those are kind of the, um, the biggest, um, I guess, jobs of the, um, chaperones. So on so many of our diocese events, it's pretty much like, like they're the best things to be able to uh, chaperone because it's like, oh, I'm just going to chaperone and yeah, I'm going to help keep making sure everybody's alive. I'm just going to come closer to, to Jesus. And so I hope that is true of this event as well. However, we do ask a couple other things because of um, the type of event it is and where we're traveling. Um, for everyone, um, it does not matter um, who you voted for. It does not matter um, what people are saying to us, we are there for a very specific reason, um, and we're not going to engage. And so if we are, if we are on the mall and, um, you know, and, and somebody's coming up and getting, um, getting less than pleasant, um, adults, I'm trusting that you will, we will always be close enough that no young person is ever handling this on their own, but this is a turn your other cheek type of event we're not engaging it doesn't matter if what they say is the most ridiculous thing ever right like we just don't need to engage and we can we can carry on and so um the the climate is very different that now than it was a few years back when the diocese took a group um and there's always going to be i mean there's always going to be controversy um which is why we march right we we march so that the, the that our voice can be heard um um, but we really don't want to, you know, we don't want to like just be interacting in, in a negative way at any time. Um, um, high schoolers, um, you are all young adults and you all have probably a lot of freedom and um, you're just not going to have that same amount of freedom on this trip. Um, we're always going to be traveling together. Um, we're going to the restroom or whatever. We're always, we're always going to have um, an adult kind of with us, we'll, we'll travel in either guys and girls groups. I haven't quite worked out the, the numbers yet, or we might break into like three or four smaller groups, but we're going to just continue to um, just be together. Um, I just can't stress enough how, how important that's going to be. Um, and it has nothing to do with um, our trust for any of you. It has everything to do with our desire to keep everyone um, safe. So, questions, comments, concerns for me? I have a question. Yes. Um, so, I got an email that's, it's, it's like a, a registration confirmation for, I think it's the, the Students for Life conference thing. Um, 
but it's yeah so it's like I, i'm not really sure it says something about being registered but then my brother did not get something like that um is that like important or i, I have know. all of that um okay they, they asked for some information so i didn't put any i didn't put any student information um, on those forms, I just put the adult information. Um, I have the tickets for that. And so we'll be printing those out and we will have okay. that for you guys. Um, and so um, if, you know, if the Students for Life is is an organization that um, that any of you choose to be involved with, please feel free and whatever the rules are with your family of giving out your email um, information. I just wasn't prepared to, I just wouldn't give it to um, the, the, um, that organization. It's a good organization. I'm not worried about them, but, um, I just don't give out that information. Yeah, there's, there's no other, um, um, there's no other, there's no other, um, registrations needed. Everything that we've needed to register for has been taken care of. So if you get any, like, hey, join us for this or join us for that. Or, hey, come to, like, I, I keep getting them myself. Like, I was invited to some Rose Gala dinner or something. So don't worry about any of those kinds of things. If you guys get any um, information, we're not going to be, um, anything that you need has already been taken care of. Uh, we have a question of if there's a pool at, at the hotel, are we allowed to swim? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if there is a pool. Um, but there will not be time. We, we won't have time for that. If I find differently, I will let you know immediately tomorrow. But um, when we get in each night, um, our the time that we have is is booked solid. So that, that's not that's something that we have to worry about. Dan, I have a question about the mass at yeah. the facility. Is that the official um, March for Life mass? I know there's always one like on EWTN. Is that like, I think last time it wasn't that we attended, but. Yeah, no, it is not. It's not, um, it's the one at the shrine. It's not the one at the National Basilica. Got it, okay. We ta actually ta We actually talked about it and decided that this year we would do it the same as we did previous. And then we would reevaluate after this year. Um, oh yeah. So, um, we will be, we will be having mass every day. Um, and then our Sunday obligation mass, um, will be at Dobe, um, when we return. Um, and so if, if families are dropping off, they're welcome to join for that. We don't have a really good way of giving an exact time. Um, but the folks at Dobe have said that they'll put out on social media, like when we're, you know, when we're going to be there. So if anybody wants to join, but that will count for that as well. So we'll have daily mass every day and our Sunday mass as well. Uh, are the, I'm sorry, are the uh, adult um, <clears throat> room assignments separate from the, the kids, I'm assuming? Yes. So, okay. excuse me. The, um, 17 and under, um, like the high school students' rooms are um, guys and girls separate, of course, um, four in a room. Um, and then the adults, 18 and over, are similar, um, guys and gals, but the adult rooms are two in a room. Okay. Other questions? Jen, how many um, people total is our group? 31. And how so, many does the bus hold? I don't like, know that. Um, curious. I don't know that. I think that our sweet, I think that our sweet spot was like forty-four or something. Okay. Are, are we taking a rickety old school bus, or are we <laughs> taking a coach bus? No, we we have paid dear. We have paid dearly. I hope it's not rickety enough. <laughs> okay. Um. So for the bus, um. Excuse me. When, especially when it gets to be the evening, there'll be girls and guys um, 
sitting together. I, no, girls and guys will not be sitting together. Um, um, there will be pink rows and, and blue rows once again. Um, and there will be no, no adults in, a, in the same row with a young person, um, unless, it's your, unless it's your child. I, I know some of this stuff when we talk about it, it seems kind of goofy because it's like, we're obviously all going for a very good reason. We're going with the church, but we can't be vigilant enough and, and making sure that we're doing the best we can to um, uphold our safe environment um, standards. Other questions or concerns? Can I give some bus advice? <laughs> Tell me again. From Pat. Um, just some experience from the last bus trip, just some tips maybe. Yes. I would, I mean, just for sleeping comfort, because it is, I mean, not to first name is Bubble, but it's the most uncomfortable night I've ever had of, in my life to this day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, definitely don't hold back. I'm bringing, you know, the blanket, the pillow, you know, you're going to want it, you know, like your comfort, you know, like that's not, I mean, don't bring anything super bulky, but yeah, remember to bring, you know, cause it, it gets cold, you know, on the bus at night, you know, if you're sitting up against the window, you know, like the full size pillow, I think is worth it. Um, and then, you know, could always pack down, you know, if you bring it in, in a nice way, but um, sleeping mask, if, you know, lights bother you, cause there are those dim lighting at all times on the bus kind of thing. So um, noise canceling head, you know, headphones, you know, all these little niceties that if you are a sensitive sleeper, you know, it's important to get a good rest, you know, and just, yeah, don't skimp on those easy travel comforts if you, if you can. I would recommend them. <laughs> For sure. Do, do we know if there's any like cargo space above the seats, like on the actual bus? Because I know you said like we can't access the below until we're we're in DC, but I don't um I don't know I don't know exactly I don't know exactly the bus, but um everybody can bring a backpack, a pillow, and a blanket to stay with you. Okay. And then um everything else will be underneath. Um those that have homework. You know, if you're going to bring your day pack and your backpack, I mean, that's reasonable. Um, like I said, we will, we won't be full, but we won't be empty, right? Like, so, and we want to bring what we need and, and not the extra. And then um, for sure, a reusable water bottle. Um, for sure. Even if you think that you're not like, like the reusable water bottle, it's like essential, right? Like, please just bring it. Don't don't think of some of these things as, oh, I'm probably going to be fine, or I don't drink much water all day anyway, or any of that, like really, really take to, really take to heart these things. Cause these are, these are requirements and they're requirements for, you know, for all of us to have a really great um, pilgrimage together. Um, you know, a, a bag to bring, uh, a bag to bring with you. Um, it's important. So, you know, please do these things so that we can, um, and then, um, Parents, if there's if there's something that we're requiring that your child doesn't have or that you're unable to provide, um, please just reach out to me directly. Um, because, but it's it's again, it's just these things are just super important. Um, um, comfortable sh comfortable shoes um, that will be um, that will be um, we'll be doing a ton of we'll be ton doing a ton of walking um, specifically on Friday, but we'll be on our feet all day on Thursday as well. I'm sorry, Ms. Lisa. We'll be able to get stuff there, probably. Yeah. Um, we won't be able to run out like some of us are kind of used to, like, oh, you know, we get to camp. Oh, everybody forgot a water bottle. Somebody's going to run over to Walmart, right? We're, we're not going to have that. We're not going to have that luxury of kind of catching us up on that kind of stuff. So we really need to be vigilant about bringing up what's necessary. All right. So we talked about, um, we talked about clothes. We talked about comfortable shoes. Um, talked about packing, um, sleeping bag, if you're not comfortable sharing a bed, um, med forms, super, super, super important. Um, I 
and oh just to just to kind of also just kind of re you know to um <laughs> I was gonna say reevaluate totally the wrong word I have no idea what the right word is but just to kind of go over once again uh, just a couple of things the the money that is going to be required for chaperones for um students for any of us pilgrims is going to be for those those meals that you see on the itinerary there's roughly seven of them breakfast and lunch and dinner on wednesday um lunch on thursday and then um dinner on saturday and brunch on sunday um every day um we are um having breakfast at the hotel um we're having that it's breakfast at the hotel but it's being catered into our room so it'll be our group we'll we'll have it served that way so every morning thursday friday and saturday we will have that thursday and friday we will have um dinner provided um for us back at the hotel again and then friday you will have a lunch that is provided for you um the cost of the um the cost of the hotel and all of that kind of stuff we have uh, wrapped that into the cost that we have um, used as your fee. Um, we do strongly recommend like tipping the, the housekeepers um, each day. Um, it's a good practice. Um, but aside from that, the other, anything else that's needed is, is provided. Um, Father, can you think of anything else that I have missed that we had spoken about? I don't think so. I think that's pretty good covering it. Oh. Um, mini hand sanitizers would not be terrible in your day pack. Um, chaperones, if you could carry a like a small um first aid kit. Um, we're not asking anyone to do triage, but sometimes if you just need a band-aid, it's it's handy. I am we will each have one as well. Um and then um there's a little bit of a question as to whether or not we'll need a mask to go into the um, Holocaust Museum. As I'm reading the site, it's unsure. So I will um, I will bring a box of masks in case we do need that if I don't get it figured out before then. Um, but otherwise, like I said, please please um, plan smartly um, as far as your dress and what you're gonna need for the day. Um, like uh, Ms. Kathy said, like, don't underestimate the bus ride. Um, it's going to be something to be talked about. It's going to be like, all right, I did this. It's going to be something that we're all going to conquer. Um, but like, don't be shy and be like, oh, I don't really need, I, I sleep on the bus because I go to soccer games all the time. I don't need a pillow. You know, I mean, like, you know, kind of be smart about that stuff. Um, and um, like I said, because we do, we do have, like you do have room for that and it is something that you're going to need. Um, and then, you know, that extra stuff, your homework, that extra stuff will stay in your room um, during the days when we're out at our um, at our adventures. Oh, um, no the other the other kind of thing are are pretty standard, but we need to make sure that we're um, all clear on that. Is we're um, there's no drinking um, of any alcoholic beverages of any kind. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, no vaping, no smoking, none of that kind of stuff. Um, no weapons, no pocket knives, no, it doesn't matter what you normally carry. Leave that all at home, please. Um, and then, um, oh, I had one more thing. I'm super excited about this and I am like super thankful to have this opportunity to um, travel with you guys and be part of this. Um, so even though a lot of this sounded like, oh, hey, here's all of the rules. <laughs> um, it's not because we're not excited. I just like, I don't like there to be surprises when we can avoid them, right? And so we all have the same expectations. We all know what we're going into. We all know um, what the rules are coming in. There should be no, there should be no issues. So um, please don't think that it's just overly preachy. I just wanna make sure that we are all on the same page. Um, you all have my information. Um, don't hesitate to hit me up um, and texting is the absolute fastest way to reach me. If you come up with any questions, even if you, I, I know that everybody will be, probably be packed by Saturday afternoon or whatever, but even if on Monday night at about 10 o'clock, 
when you're realizing it's the next day and you have to pack and you have to do all of those things, um, don't hesitate to hit me up if you have any questions. I'm happy to help any way I can along um, I can along the way, okay? What about the fee for the 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 overall fee? Should that be brought to should should a check? I mean, that yeah. should be that should be uh, that should be sent to the Bishop Hammes Center. Okay. And so, um, if you if you could, if you haven't paid that, um, already, um, you can pay that to your um. I'm not sure where everybody is in the world. So um, you can pay to your church and have the church send out a check is totally fine. Um, but to the Bishop Hama Center um, and then the uh, attention um, March for Life. Um, I prefer that to not have any of that stuff day of. And the fee is $550. I know that we originally advertised it at $650, which it was, uh, but we got another grant, so we were able to lower it. Um, so it's 550 total. So like I said, if you pay that to your, your parish leader, there are a few of you that don't have a parish leader, um, that you're, you're lone soldiers. And we're so grateful to have you with us. Um, if you don't know who to get that to, let me know. Otherwise you can just get it to, um, to who we talked about and, um, get it over to Grace and she'll take care of that. But thank you for bringing that up because I'm I don't I didn't ask Grace today where we are on um, payments and stuff. So if you haven't gotten that in, um, please do, um, please do. And if you're not sure if your if your parish got that taken care of, um, just um, shoot Grace a call or an email and ask her, and she'll be able to follow up on that. All right, all in all the time. Joyful Pilgrims. I should have put that on the shirt. Joyful Pilgrims. That would have been awesome. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have any big fears about this trip? I'm terrified we're going to lose one of you. So please don't get lost. I wasn't scared until you kept saying if we're caught in rain. So what about ponchos? Like just a light. <laughs> oh, there you ponchos. go. Yeah. Chance the weather shifts. So yeah, like I mean, you just you really just don't know it, and especially in Washington D.C. In on December of 2019, I went to a wedding in Washington D.C., and all of us Wisconsinites were like in hoodies. I mean, I know that's not what the weather is today. And like, you'll need a jacket, but like, you really just, you really just don't know. It could be snow, it could be rain, it could be beautiful and sunny. So get on your rosaries, start, you know, praying to have beautiful weather and make this easier, but a poncho would not be a bad idea. Awesome. Father, will you close us? Sure. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Mama Mary, please, please pray for us in these last days before we embark upon our pilgrimage. Pray for our country, pray for our leaders, pray for struggling mothers and all unborn children. Guide all of us together closer to the sacred heart of Jesus and deeper conversion to him. As we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you guys again so much. And don't hesitate as you think about, as you start to settle in with getting this going, um, to reach out with any questions along the way. See you in a week.